Hi everyone, welcome back to Get Ready With Me Louise. So, I had different ideas on like what to do. Um, where there's just so many products, I think we forget what we already have. And I was going back through my products and I know that these products are good. They're great. Like, I'm really not going to find better. But yet, I keep buying. And I'm asking myself, why? I mean, I'm sitting here looking at this and I'm not bragging because really it's retarded in all honesty. But I would have to say in just makeup, just makeup that n no one person can use. I probably have about $20,000. That's ridiculous. That's crazy. And I know this. Yet the next palette that launches, I'm going to buy it, you know. And I'm like, why are we doing this? Why? Those shades are no different than what I've already got. Not really. So, in, in a sense that it's a collection, but I have to agree with a lot of people, these collections have an expiration date. So, it's not something I can keep forever. I mean, I guess I could, but I think mold and stuff starts to grow. I'm not really for sure. But, you know what I mean? So, I'm like, what am I doing? So, and some of these I've never touched. Some of them I've touched once or twice. And that's crazy in itself to buy something just because, oh, I have to have it. Because I have everything else. Why not get that one thing, you know? So, I was like, you know, why don't we take a look back. See if the stuff's good. And revisit it. Reuse it. Uh, you know, get our money out of it. I mean... I'm going to start with this one first, and this is the um, Natasha Denona, the Sunrise Palette. Mm, let's see, right there gives you the best accurate picture of it. Okay, so here's the palette. This one is $69, I think it is at Sephora. I've got... One that's 169, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that's $129. Okay. We're not counting the minis. We're not counting any any of the other things, okay, that are like $49, something like that for like five, six shadows. Do I love this formula? Yeah, for the most part. There's not much I can say wrong with it. Does it blend? Is it easy? Is it all that for me? Yes. That's why I buy it. I know that. It's going to do the work for me because I'm not a makeup artist. I'm just a consumer. But at the same time, no consumer needs as much makeup. So I'm kind of going through it all going, what, what am I going to use? Let's get real. What am I going to use? And some of these things I'm like, yes, 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 yes. Some of them I'm like, no. Now, I don't know what I can really do with these palettes being that they have been used. I know I can wipe them down with alcohol and stuff like that. I don't know if I can, I guess I maybe donate them in my area. I don't really know how that goes. I know unopened stuff I donate. Um, but now I'm going to start to gather it up for like um, when I get subscribers to do like giveaways and stuff. But like these palettes here, I don't know if I can give them away once I touch them. Like I'm not for sure on how the rules are for that. But I do know that the it, it's... It's become crazy as consumers buying just to buy. Um, so I thought I'm going to revisit all this stuff and maybe do like all Natasha Nona, all Pat McGrath, all Mark Jacobs, stuff like that. Or maybe do one, 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 and then go back and do one, 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 one. Like, you know, stuff like that. And we're not even talking about like the, the mid range. Like, what I consider mid range is like around the $50 area. So we're t talking Tarte, Too Faced. Um, Urban Decay, uh, you know, that sort of stuff. Um, and then, of course, you've got your drugstore and what I consider ColourPop and all that stuff, you know. So, it's like, I've got all of this and I'm like, what in God's name am I doing? What am I doing with it? I mean, I can review it and all, and that's great because y'all get to see it. But, like, at the end of the day, what can I do with this stuff? Seriously. I, it, it blows my mind how we are as consumers. But this particular brand, Natasha Denona, love it. Not much from it. I don't like. I've got the bronzers, the blush. I like it all. 
So, I mean, I can't really say anything bad about that part. Of the powder stuff. I've not tried the foundation um, or anything like that or primers or anything like that. Um, I don't think. Let me look. No, I don't have anything liquid. I mean, other than like cream products that come in like the stuff. But, I mean, I don't really use cream because I'm, I'm new. So, powder is just easy for me to work with if I, if I have the right stuff. So, I find that this is very easy to work with and that it kind of does the work for me. No matter what tool I'm using. Whether it's a Real Technique, a ColourPop, a Morphe, a Sigma, NARS, March, it, it, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Like, it's going to perform brilliantly. So, I've already laid down my base, which I have ABH, and I put a white eyeliner on. Um, I then put a setting powder over top of it. I then went into, because I forgot to hit record. I don't know. I am so bad about this. I'm just getting over the flu, so bear with me, guys. Um, I then took a, um Hourglass number 3 brush and sort of just patted down this color here, this morning color. It's not... It's like a very pale orangish yellow color I guess you would say yeah that's what I would say it is but then I'm going to go into Morgan and I'm going to lay I'm going to start to lay that down as my crease color and of course you know my crease because I put it eyes I have to make my own crease it's so much fun And Morgan's like a orange, a little bit of a brighter orangish color. And again, it's it's called the Sunrise Palette. And the colors in it really truly do represent a sunrise, I feel like. And I mean, this is a pretty palette. And like in the spring, I do use it. I know I've used this palette a good bit, to be honest. Spring and fall, I did use this particular one. Um, the sunset one. I don't. I don't know if I played with it that much or not. And I would suggest if you're trying out this brand, get the uh, twenty-five dollar. Um, these right here um to try it that way you can see if you do like the formula or not and if you find it easy to work with being i have no makeup ability at all i need something that's not going to be you know splotchy or patchy or no color like i can't have it you know obviously like bam right off the bat or <laughs> it'll be a mess i don't even want to think about it but i do need some color Due to the fact that, you know, I don't know what I'm doing. And trust me when I say, like, if I try to pack this on, oh, no. Like, I'd have it all down my face. It's craziness. Um, right now, I'm using the num uh, Tom Ford number 13 brush, too. So, the next color I think I'm going to go in with is going, I'm going to... Um, Got a different brush first off as soon as I find one. But I'm going to go in with the, um, this one. This is the Morphe M330. And I'm going to go into this Jasper color. And I'm barely just going to take that on the tip of the brush. And it's a little darker. And I'm actually going to go right into my crease. Like, I'm just defining that area. And there is some kick up, but again, nothing, you know, major. I mean, do you guys go back and think sometimes? I mean, I know we see these new palettes being released and all. And it's like, ooh, ah, uh, you know, but do you ever just 
after, I mean, it's not buyer's regret or anything, because I love what I have, but, I mean, I also know I have too much of it, you know, but do you go back and go, mm, maybe not, you know, maybe not, maybe I should have not necessarily bought that at that time, I should have used this up, and like, I know you're not going to use up every palette, because there's going to be certain colors you're not going to like, I mean, it is what it is. Then I think I'm going to go into I think I'm gonna go into glory. And with that, wow, I'm throwing stuff, guys. It's lovely. Oh, no. This is something else getting over this cold, I'm gonna tell y'all now. I'm gonna take the Sigma E30 and go into uh, what did I say? Glory. And I'm going to pat that, and I'm going to put that in my outer corner. And I mean, you can see that this, these colors are very pigmented. So you do have to be very, very careful. But I also know they last all day long. And I mean, again, keep in mind, I don't know what I'm doing. They're just such pretty colors. Burn my finger. <clears throat> how I sometimes wonder about myself. I'm like, how did that even happen? How did I even manage to do that? Like, <coughs> <coughs> I'm not playing. I was making tea. I, I knew it was hot. Like, there's no doubt in my mind doing it. You know, I was making tea. And I decided that I was picking up the kettle and for some reason I stuck my hand on the kettle. I'm telling you, sometimes I really, really worry about myself. I'm just like, now what, what, what could I possibly do now? What next stupid thing could I do? Okay. I'm just gonna put a little more so I'm targeted up over here. I like this color. It's kind of pretty. It does remind me of the sunrise. And again, I'm not a makeup artist, so, you know, obviously, somebody else could have a much better vision than, obviously, I do with this palette. Because to me, I'm like, ooh, colors. You know, no rhyme or reason. 
I'm going to take the same pencil brush. Hold on, i got to clean it off, though. I'm going to just use my little color switch thing. Hmm. I'm not even sure what... I probably need to clean that, to be honest with you, because I don't even know what color that was. But I'm going to go into Clove this color right here at the bottom and just put it in the in the corners just in the very very corner And then I'm gonna take this um, Morphe brush that I had and get back into Jasper and just sort of make sure that's still there. I don't want to lose that color. I'm trying to play around with a good bit of these for you. And then I'm I don't really have that much eye space, but I'm working with what I got. Okay, okay. I mean, you can kind of see the colors and how they're dark and blending. And I mean, they're perfect other than, you know, me not knowing what the hell I'm doing. As far as that goes, you know, it's pretty good. And then I think for... I'm going... I think I'm going to go into... I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to go into Azalea. Azalea. Or I could just pick a word on a poppy. I'm going to go into poppy. And I'm just going to lay that down on the inner part of my eye. Then, for the bottom lash line, I think I'm going to go into, um, I need my one brush. Oh, it's my favorite. That's not you. Where are you? It's a real technique brush, and it really is my favorite. 
That's hourglass. Why is hourglass over there? Okay, my brushes all get mixed around and then I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I like to push them. Um, I, I guess just, oh, this one. No. I don't know if you can. <laughs> one of them's bound to work, I promise. If I can find it. But here's my problem. I need to go through that. Here we go. All right, I'm going to go into, I think, um, Jasper. Yeah. And I'm going to put that on the bottom lash line. I mean, these colors are just so easy to work with. And they really are so pretty. And I mean, I could probably wear this as an everyday palette. In all honesty, I could pro you know what I mean? Like, going to work and stuff like that. I mean, I, I could definitely do that. And that's kind of what I go for for palettes. I try to make sure that I can use them. But <laughs> at the same time, I know I can't. Like, I know I can't. So... It's kind of, eh, you know. Um, I'm actually going to take a uh, little work brush. Let me see this one. I'm going to take this one and go really up by my lash line and put that clove color in. Like, really line it. Then, I'm just gonna go back in to make sure I didn't take away from Jasper. All right. Then I am going for the inner corner. I'm going to go in with Awakening. I should get that wet or not. Can you all see that? Yeah. I mean, it is so pretty. I mean, I really do hope you all can see it. This here is a Persona brush. I love this brush for this. It actually came in um, a kit, a Persona kit for pinks or something, how to wear pinks. I don't know. But I'm like in love with the brush for like that. I don't know why because it's just like a pencil brush really. But for whatever the reason, love it for that. Don't ask. <laughs> All right. So let's curl these and then I'm going to use the new Fenty um, 
mascara again. I really did enjoy that. Uh, it was nice and it did last. And I now for the I've used it for bottom and top. I don't like it for bottom to be honest. I it did smudge on me on the bottom, but on the top it was brilliant. And I just got the trial size of it, so I am going to order the big one because I do like it a lot. I mean, I don't know if you all, like, it just separates. And, like, I don't know, it gives them length, which my eyelashes are starting to grow again. I've been using that lash serum and I can get behind that wholeheartedly that works like no other I kid you not I'm having issues that it's so small though but the big one I'm sure you know I'm not gonna have issues because it'll be a regular length but I mean it is just a nice mascara all together I mean, I still like my Thrive Mascara the best, though. But I do like to give other mascaras a uh, go. Because you never know. And in all honesty, mascara is not that expensive, so... Well, I mean, I guess they can be, though, huh? I never thought of that. Yeah. They really could, I guess, in a sense. But, oh, I meant to try the primer. It's got fortified with lash pumping peptides. It's a primer. Oh, I wanted to try that. Then I got these CoverGirl, or not CoverGirl, I'm sorry, ColourPop. I, I don't know about those either. Like, are those any good? Like, does anybody know? Well, I mean, I'm sure people don't get me wrong. I mean, that's just silly. But, I, you know, I mean, I do wonder about that, too. And then I found this. Extended Play Per Me Up Lash. And, you know, I always use the Extended Play Giga Black Lash on my bottom lashes. But I'm wondering how that does, the other one does. Like, does it curl? Does it work? I guess that's my job to find out, huh? But if anybody else already knows, be nice to them. Let me know. And then, you know, it's always nice when you uh, get mascara somewhere, you know? Hmm. All right, before I make it a mess, because I will. I know I will. All right, guys, this is the final look. Does it look okay? Now, don't judge the technique, because that's not fair, <laughs> okay? I'm not a makeup artist. Don't judge the technique by no means. Judge the shadows. Judge the color. Judge 
the the you know it's not patchy that sort of stuff you know don't ever 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 judge the technique or the colors that are put together or any of that stuff because I'm not I'm not I'll never be okay that's not the point at all of what I'm trying to do um I'm not coming off as a makeup artist I'm not coming off as a makeup guru I am none of those things at all I am just a consumer of makeup who is tired of buying it, <laughs> to be honest. And I know you're like, well, just stop. But it's not that simple. Because what if the next best thing's out there and I didn't get it, you know? And I'm just like that. I, I've, I've just said, I'm just the crazy friend that buys it and you get to sit there and go, you dumb beep. What are you doing now? You know? So... It's kind of like that, you know, and, you know, if I'm sitting here with my friends and we're doing our makeup and stuff, like, this is the way it would be. Um, we'd be talking and chit-chatting and comparing and that sort of stuff, and that's what I want. Like, I want that, and I hope that, you know, you come in, you know, I could be boring. I know that. Don't get me wrong. My personality is not the best, and I know that, too, but I really do want a group of people that it has no makeup ability but wants to, you know, wants to shape their skill to their own face, their own techniques, but has the best of the products. You know what I mean? Something that's going to work with them, not against them. Especially since we have no skill, we can't have something going against us or we'll just be even more lost. So that's kind of the gist. That's what I want. As you can see, these blended Without any problem, um, nah, I don't know about the color scheme. I'm not even going to go there. But, I mean, you, you can tell that it's it's good. It's good quality. Is it worth $69? That particular palette, yes, it is. I feel it is. Honest to gosh. Um, but are the other palettes worth $129? We'll find out. Um, hit the subscribe button. Ring the bell. Hit all. That way you're notified when I do upload and we'll find out together if they're worth it. And then, why don't you just hit the like button? Whether you like me or not, hit the like button. Um, you know, share me. Do whatever you got to do. I need to grow. I need more input, more opinions, more. I need more. I need to gather more information from other people so that I know what to get, what to try. And maybe there's something out there that you want me to try. And I know there's the the alternative to Natasha Denona. Alter Ego, maybe is the name of it. I know that they have that. And I don't really know how I feel about that. I mean, think about it. I get they're cheaper and they give you, give people a chance to get kind of the color scheme, right? I understand that. But think, what if you were her? You're Natasha Denona. Now, would you price your products that high? Mm, maybe not, but maybe you would. But how would you feel if you sat there and you developed and you thought about it and you planned out all these palettes when then here comes along somebody else who's selling the palette for 20 bucks and same scheme. Like, I'm really torn between that. I've not tried their products yet, so I really don't know how close they are in The textures and the and and the finishes and all that I don't and the and you know the power to the last time and all that I don't know any of that I know I should buy it to see, but I feel like if I bought them, like I wouldn't want somebody to do that to me. I guess you know what I mean. Like I've always always been the one this be like I, I do unto others as you'd have done to yourself. You know, I just especially. As I get older, like, I am so on board with that. I try so hard to see things in other people's shoes. Because, you know, everybody is different. Everybody feels different. And, like, I may feel one way in a situation, but somebody else may feel a different way in the same situation that I felt. You know what I mean? So, like, I really do try to, like, walk a mile in somebody's shoes or see it their way. or I mean, it doesn't mean I'm ever going to agree with them. But I do try to see the other side of things. Um, and sometimes I can follow somebody's thought process of getting to where they're at. And I'm like, 
whoa, crazy. But then other times I'm like, all right, I can see, sort of see where you're coming from. But, 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 but that's not necessarily the way it went or, oh, maybe you are right, you know, type of thing. So I'm, I'm really iffy on that one. But I know I'm jabbering. But anyway, I love you guys. Uh, please come back. And I'll not for sure what I'm going to do in the next video. Uh, we'll have to find out. I, I kind of think I want to skip to like Pat McGrath now. Because I feel like everybody get tired of the same collection in a sense. Um, but I thought we would do Pat McGrath. The I think it's the first one I have. The Mothership one. Um, and try it out and see what we think of it and is it something we could do every day and is it worth $129 for what is it 10 shadows I think no the mothership's 10 shadows maybe maybe they are now that I'm thinking about it <sighs> yep Yeah, and here's the reason why I'm thinking about Mothership 1, because of this blue. I really want this blue. Like, and I can't get this to... See, now look at that. That is not even close to what these colors look like. I kid you not. Not even close. Other than the blue. Now, if you look in... Ooh, look at that, though. Now, if you look into the mirror, it shows... See that pink? That's right. But look up here. It's not showing it like that. That's crazy. See how crazy it is that what a camera and lights... I mean, it's just a ring light. I might have to kick that off in order to show true color. But I do hope you enjoyed this. And I know I do. I enjoy doing this. And I, and I want to continue to do this. And it is pricey to buy the palettes up to date. And I am going to continue to try, obviously. Um, I don't know how you all feel about ColourPop. I do have a lot of their newer ones. Um... And I do kind of want to rotate high end with, you know, drugstore and stuff like that. Um, into the middle even. But I guess let me know what y'all think. What y'all would want to see. Um, it's like Mac. I got a ton of Mac stuff too. I don't know if you guys are... I mean, you never hear anything about Mac anymore. It's crazy. Um, but I guess let me know. And if not, I'll just try to figure something out to record. And hopefully y'all like it. All right, guys, I love yous. I hope you guys are have going to have, well, it's Monday, so have a great week, upcoming week, and I will see you in my next video.